Good evening, welcome on into the evening edition of From Day One. We pick up with our Karens who just don't know how to behave. This case shocked you though? You aren't ready for the next one. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? This lady has been being a rally passenger. We oh told her to God. calm down, sit down because she acting like she is drunk Did or something. That? And then when we told we told her to sit down, and then she ran, and I told her her to close the door, and she and somebody oh else, another God. passenger, pushed her. I think she's intoxicated. Oh, yeah, we have. Is that having a mask? Huh? So yeah. she no been mask. drinking? I did nothing. Ma'am, what happened? This guy chokeholding no. me. Ma'am. What the f is wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down, okay? No, you need to talk to him. He choked on me. Down. They saw it. Ma'am. They saw it. Ma'am, calm down. This woman is Terry Ann Blues, and she was just barred from boarding her flight due to unruly conduct. She was screaming, shouting at passengers, and overall just being very unruly. Listen, I'm fine. I need to get to my great aunt's memorial service. I've been de detained and held up. You can go through my bags. I have nothing. My God, what is wrong with America? Calm down. Calm down. No, so, that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You, you saw it. You saw it. You saw it. Ma'am. You saw it. Ma'am. Keep. He choked on me. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Alton. He threw me to the ground. What's your name? My name is Terry. Look him over here and we'll talk, okay? I want the manager of the fucking airport here! Who saw me choking, choking? Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you running the door here. when you weren't supposed he to. He choked me to the ground! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am. I'm a woman! Over here. In a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, okay? Boo-hoo! You f*** off! It seems even the other passengers have had enough of them. Terry tries to rally support for her cause, but all she gets is one passenger who informs the officers that she ran through the door before she was supposed to. Doing so is technically accessing a restricted space, which is a federal crime. Aviation rules are taken very seriously in a post 9-11 world. Ma'am, go over here. I want the manager of the airport here! Ma'am! No! Ma'am! No! Calm down. I want the manager here. Okay, we'll get the manager. What is your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues. I'm not going to be treated like this. Calm down. He yep. chokeholded me to the ground. I'm not going to be treated like this. Ma'am. I Ma want an officer here. Ma'am, I am officer also. I am what family happened? waiting for my great aunt's fucking funeral. I've been through hell trying to get through. No. Stay over here. That guy threw me to the ground. Who saw it? Raise your fucking hand. Ma'am, calm down. Nobody wants to stand up for me. She's asking random airport goers to stand up for someone who is very clearly exhibiting disorderly conduct. People don't generally help others who are unpleasant. I had a couple of cocktails. Yeah, I'm about to. This woman had no reason. I was for you to get over here. Hey. Ma'am, come over here. No, I'm not. Here. I didn't yeah, do anything! Leave me alone! Please leave me alone! Please stop me! Oh my god! I'm so did you guys deny her flight? Okay, so she came over here screaming at me. I told her, are you going to Tyler? I work in Tyler. Tyler, no, you don't do it. You, you do, you're not doing it. Then she come over here with attitude, then she went over the third trip for flight. And we told her to sit down and calm down. She cannot be doing this drama around her. And everybody was looking at her. Yeah. Then when we started the boarding process, um, she she just jumped on, on Marie saying, ma'am, you okay to, to board now? And she started like acting like crazy, but she, had, she was screaming in the, in the seat. When uh, we, we denied her boarding, she just ran over the door and I just followed her. I said, ma'am, you cannot do that. And then when I see that guy doing like, Something like this, and then push her, and she and she just fall over my 
my food. Did he push her yeah. just because he was trying not yeah, to? Yeah, I just her. I didn't touch her. I just told her, hey, ma'am. Is that guy out there right now? And then another guy, he got a blue shirt. He shot on her and pushed her back. She okay. was she fell on my feet and then she starts screaming and crying. Okay. That's what happened. But with Marines, I would try to because I, she was attitude with me and then she got attitude with Marines. So basically, she was denied boarding. Yeah, she was denied boarding because we 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 we, we were that. Uh -huh. not Airliners are allowed to deny boarding to passengers who violate their contract of carriage. This generally includes a clause about being disorderly, especially while drunk. So the airline was entirely within its rights to stop her from getting onto the plane. You want to come have a seat so I can help you out? Please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? Let's get you sit down so you can catch your breath. You want some water? You want to go to the water fountain with me? You want to walk to the water fountain with okay. me? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Let's just have you sit no, down. No, I'm not no. going to the way. I'm no. not. No. No, no. Hey, move that. Come on, sit. Let's, let's walk with me, okay? Here. They I'm gonna take you to get some water. Let's come off with you, okay? You wanna go get some water? Okay? That's the water fountain over here, okay? Do you wanna get some water? Here. Yeah, everybody, thank you for sticking up for me. Okay. Everybody that saw that passenger choke holding me. And throw me choke holding me. And throw me to the ground. Thank you for helping me. That's her stuff. Okay, Fucking thank assholes. You. Here, no. Some America. Turn around and get some water, okay? Take your breath. Here, give me They all saw it. They all saw it. Okay. Yes, they all saw it. Even so, they are under no obligation to corroborate anything that this woman is saying. Okay, sir. He's still there in the door. The guy that choke holding me. Sir, okay. Sir, okay. Here, get some water. Yeah, don't care about my shit. I don't care. I just want to go home. Sir. I didn't deserve this. I know. I didn't fucking deserve this. I, I really didn't. I know. <laughs> Calm down. Catch you want to lock me up? Go ahead. I didn't do anything wrong, so go ahead. Breathe, there. Relax, okay? You're fine. My flight's leaving. I need to get to my great aunt's funeral, okay? okay. okay. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm coming from to Oregon. Okay. Across the nation, and I get this. Okay. I get chokeholded do you have by a, another passenger. Do you have a purse? I can't believe this! Here, do you have a purse? Here. Do you have it a got purse? taken from me. All my it's gone! It's over, it's over here, man. It's on there. Breathe, Terry. I, I've had enough. Okay. I, I, I didn't deserve this. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. good. And why nobody stood up for me. Why nobody saw it. Here. Everybody saw it. Here. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Here. Shame on all! Terry, calm down. I don't give a sh. Terry, calm down. Calm down. Terry. That's why America is going to the dogs. Because nobody will stand up for anyone. Terry. Calm down. You Terry. piece of sh. Terry. Put your other arm behind you. Give me the arm, Terry. I'm not. No. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, somebody film this. Please, someone film this. She's being Come recorded, ma'am. Don't Please, worry. someone film this! Please! You want to lock it? She continuously asks someone to record this when it's currently being recorded by two high-quality body cams, whose footage is, by law, public record. Terry Ann Blues was arrested and taken into custody by the Dallas police. She was charged with public intoxication, resisting arrest, and marijuana possession. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it to her great aunt's funeral. Terry had a very holier-than-thou attitude, but it's nothing compared to this next case. You backed him into an office and you got hit in the face, unfortunately. When people are backed into a corner, they can choose, no, no, they can choose to do the right thing or they can choose to lash out. Okay, you were in the wrong here, just so we're clear. This is not a Rosa Parks moment, dude. Don't play with me. This woman is Karen Ivory. I know, ironic name. And right before this moment, she was punched square in the face by a target manager after she cornered him in his office. She backed him into a corner threateningly, and he saw no way out other than to punch her. Okay. That's what I was saying. She said, I'm not going to have enough money to pay for this. And I 
me to talk to the manager. He happened to be walking by. I, I came around and I was like, hey, what can I do for you? Okay. And usually it's like like a, the price is wrong or whatever. Uh -huh. She starts going on this, this spiel about, uh, like, about how like I've had a privileged yeah. life and she's been disadvantaged and then said that she was asking Target to make reparations for her. And okay. I said, that's not something we can do tonight. If, like, if you need a donation, like, you can okay. call tomorrow. This I can put you in touch, like, DNA with the HR eight. person. So but, like, that isn't something I can do for you, like, right now today. Okay. And then she, like, she was like, you need okay. to put me in touch with someone tonight. And I was like, I can't. There isn't. Okay. Like. Strange. Yeah. And then she got really close to me. Mm -hmm. So I put my hands up and backed up, and she, like, followed me. She was like. Like breathing into my eyeballs. Was she screaming at you? Or yeah. yeah. So she got really close to me. I put my hands up. I touched her shoulders mm -hmm. because she was like coming into my space. Okay. Um, and then she, like, because I touched her, she like went to the service unit after that and just started screaming really loudly and like backing up against the soda machine. Okay. And then that's when like our security person. Yeah, he called, she called our security person. It sounds as though Karen was attempting to make some sort of social stand in this scenario. Obviously, as the law currently stands, Target or any other business does not owe reparations to anybody. So what happened? She okay, seems secure at uh, 2046. Okay. Came up, I tried to verbally de-escalate. Uh -huh. She told me that she wanted to wreck it out, and I told her we couldn't do that. Okay. And then she said, excuse me, and I was like, man, like, I need to back up or leave, like, but we can't do that for you. So she started charging at me. I came all the way back into my office, into an enclosed space, uh -huh. and I hit her in the face. I tried to literally close her out, but at that point, she was, like, pretty much running. So she barreled her way in and then kept, kept coming into my office. Okay. And you just hit her and that's it? Hit her, like, right in the... Face, like, right you out of my office and you just kept on pushing your way in. That's right. No, sir. I didn't push my way in. Yes, I did. No, I came around the corner quickly. Hey, would you I did not push quit talking? Door. Hey, no. Excuse Let's you? Stop talking when I'm telling you. You stop talking, okay? Do you know who I am? Uh, I will figure that out when I get your ID. The infamous, do you know who I am, is pretty much a key indicator for showing that somebody is entitled. I'm not going to do that to you. A man came over, stood behind her. I asked him the same thing. I'm kind of like they came no, up. We are not. Actually, no. The young lady got in my face. She pushed me too. She put her hands on me as well. I put my hands on no one. I came close to them and they felt threatened. Not at least hers. It was a push back. Yeah, to separate you from her because you're in her space. Yeah. She felt threatened. Who? Why did you feel threatened? Depends on, I don't know what this discussion was about, what were you asking her to do? Reach out to her manager so we can have a larger discussion about how money works. There are obviously some issues with the way that money is handled in the United States, but she was never going to get anywhere by attempting to talk that out with a target manager. They don't have the power, authority, or ability to offer reparations for anything, let alone things on such a massive social scale. I decided to take a stand. This is not all the park's moment, dude. Don't play with me. So she was effectively asking for things to be given to her for free because she didn't have enough money to pay for it. Millions of people struggle with money like that daily, and the one thing they don't do is attempt to spend $1,000 at Target. It's the right place for me to have this conversation. Target's a good company. Exactly. Yeah. And I was trying to have a hard conversation in a safe place. Uh, yeah. So did you... No, 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 no. I got up there. I, 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 I
I did it the right way. And then when I, was I went through the right steps. The they had the reason the problem with my money doesn't work right is because it blocks me from my checkpoints. Karen claims that she was doing things the right way and through the correct channels. But that will never involve barreling after a manager, cornering him in his office, and making him feel threatened to the point where he needs to use violence. That was obviously not done in the correct way. I'm sorry. As a trustpass from party. On the basis of you getting money? Ma'am, let's go. Outside. No, no, that is not going to happen. Either you walk out on your own or in handcuffs. Oh, I will be arrested for this cause. Come on. Come on. No, I'm not going to move. Come on, don't make, don't make this a nope. more difficult gonna, than it has no, to be. No, it's going to be on camera. Where are you holding your lines at? Does he have to? That's all this is. So he, he, gets, he gets the right to kick me out after he hits me? He didn't bowl so, that? He can't bowl that up in management? He is speaking asked, on behalf of the company at this really, point. Really? Exactly. This point. So he can speak on behalf of the company at that level, but he couldn't do it there? I wasn't out there. I'm sure tensions were a little different than they are at this moment in time. So. <gasps> no, you're going to reconcile that. You're not going to give me any more lies. You will tell the truth about the situation. No, 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 no. You are trying yeah. to arrest me for him hitting me. Correct. You are under arrest. You're under arrest for menacing and disorderly conduct. Okay? Now, here's what we would like to do. We would Let's rather you walk outside thing. and not make a big deal. If you're going to make oh, a big no, deal, we're going to have to handcuff you and do yes, all that other will. stuff. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Let's go. Kieran fails to realize that she did do something wrong here. She almost seems more upset about being trespassed from Target than she does about being arrested. This isn't the heroic cause she thinks it is. She's just wasting these people's time. You know what happened here. I know, I just watched the video. I asked to open a conversation, and he's still blocking me out, and you guys are protecting me. Ma'am, you chased the one employee all the way to the front, okay? You made contact with her body by pushing your body into hers. I just watched it clear as day on the video. Okay. He then came out, and you followed him all the way back here. Okay. Making him fear for his safety. You backed him into an office and you got hit in the face, unfortunately. When people are backed into a corner, they can choose, no, no, they can choose to do the right thing or they can choose to lash out. Okay, you were in the wrong here, just so we're clear. I held the line. You didn't hold and the I, line. No, no, I, I moved my line continuously. I asked, and when they did not respect, they were gatekeeping me, like the whole world has kept people. Man, you were free to leave at any time. Absolutely. But you didn't. Absolutely. So because it wasn't you right. You amplified the situation. No, no. you wanted something When the for laws are not right, you, wanted something you make a stand so they can change. Okay. I need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Thank you. I violate my rights as a human being. Karen Ivory was eventually arrested and charged with menacing and disorderly conduct, and she is currently awaiting trial. It's unlikely that she'll see any of the big changes she was so desperately hoping for. This case was crazy, and that's the same for this next one, but probably not for the reason you'd expect. Appreciate you. Just stand right here for me. Stand with your feet together, hands down your side just like this. I'm gonna look at your eyes really quick. Okay. Robert, here's this back. Sir. Have you been drinking at all? We both had a couple of drinks here. Yes, let, me look, let me see your eyes real quick. Go ahead. These two are Robert and Samantha, and they were just caught by a deputy having intercourse in the front seat of Samantha's car. The engine was running, and both of them exhibited signs that they'd been drinking recently. Right. You're free to leave. I wouldn't recommend you drive, though, okay? Yes, sir. Because if you get in your car, I'm going to arrest you for DUI. Even if Samantha wasn't driving, the deputy still has the ability to arrest her for a DUI or more generally an OWI. She was in control of the vehicle and had the keys in the engine while drunk, which is all it takes to be charged. That's why a lot of people, when they're drunk, give their keys to somebody else, so they have no possible way of starting their car. All right, like I said, I'm gonna ask you to perform a series of tasks. Those tasks to determine if you're impaired or not impaired, okay? Part of me doing that, I'm gonna let you know what your rights are. It doesn't mean that you're under arrest. It does not mean that you will be under arrest. It just means that you're currently detained by law enforcement and you're not allowed to leave, okay? Do you understand that? Do you have any medical ailments that you be aware of? No. Do you have any problems with your legs, feet, or back? No. Okay, do you wear glasses or contacts? I wear contacts. Do you have contacts in right now? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have diabetes? No. Do you have epilepsy? No. Okay, perfect. Um, just stand right over here for me. 
and face me. If Samantha had answered yes to some of these questions, the officer would have used different sobriety tests. These tests have to be administered in a way that is fair and representative of the client's personal health. If they have issues with their balance, for example, the straight line test doesn't do much good because they wouldn't have been able to pass it even if they had been sober. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to look at my pen and you're going to follow it with your eyes and your eyes. Eyes only, okay? During that entire time, I don't want you to move your head. I just want you to follow with your eyes, okay? Samantha didn't do very well on the pen test, as her eyes moved very jerkily and, in some instances, didn't move at all. These are both symptoms of alcohol inebriation. How much have you had to drink today? Uh, I had two drinks here. What two drinks? Uh, I had Captain and Coke. Captain and Coke? Were they singles, doubles? Singles. Okay. Were they talls, shorts? Uh, they were talls. Okay. So single talls, Captain and Coke, two of them. What time did you start drinking? Uh, 10.30. Okay. And what time did you end drinking? 11.30. Uh, 11.30. <laughs> what time do you think it is currently? Um, like, um, like 1.30. You think it's about 1.30 right now? Okay. Two drinks are generally not enough to get someone this inebriated. Either this is a lie, or she had two drinks in combination with some other form of drug. On a scale from 0 to 10, with 0 being completely sober, and 10 being fall down drunk, how would you rate yourself currently? I would rate myself around uh, 3. A 3? Why would you say a 3? I would say 3 because I feel fine. Okay. Do you feel impaired at all? No. Do you feel buzzed? No. No. Okay. Um, and you, is that your vehicle, the Mustang? Yes. And just to confirm, what was going on when I first arrived? Um, it was the first time I've ever met him, and I was just kind of, I liked him, and I was attracted to him, so I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to, like, be attracted to him, Okay. but. Is that why your pants were off and his pants were off? Yeah. Okay. And after you all finished that, what were you going to do? Absolutely nothing. I was going to go home. Let's walk over this way for me. Do you have any tattoos yeah. that I need to know of? Uh, I do. Where? I have a couple. Where? I have a little one here. Okay. On my arm. Okay. On my head. Okay. On this head. On my leg. Okay. Although the officer's question about her tattoos seems unrelated to the investigation, it was very likely a test of her spatial recognition and understanding of where things are on her body. It also could have been a distraction, so she didn't ask about why they were walking towards his car. Can I take a quick picture of you, okay? Why? Just look at me with it. There you go. And then your tattoos. Why? What's that? Why? Because that's what my sergeant requires. Why? What? Why? Yeah. I have no idea. You can ask him that. <laughs> I have no idea. Why does he want? What's that? Why well, right now you're going to be placed under arrest for DUI. Go ahead, turn around for me. Place your hands behind your back. But we'll why did you pull me over? But why did Listen. you pull me over? I'm just wondering. So ahead, because you're having why? sex in a parking lot. Why? Did I just you told pull you. Me over? I just told you. Because you're having sex in a parking okay. lot. Why are you guys here? I just told you. Turn around. Why? Turn around. You don't have sex in a parking lot, okay? But why were you guys called? Nobody called. I was doing my job. And but why were you guys called? We, nobody was called. Why? Why are you putting me under arrest? You're about to go on the ground. Okay. Why Listen. did you put me under arrest? Tell me. You're gonna Tell go me. to the ground if you That's don't cooperate. Fair. 
That's fair. You want me to put Why? you in the I do not Explain. want to use force against you. Explain. I already explained. Explain. I've already explained. I don't want to use Why force against you. Why should you pull me over? But we're going to have to if you do not put your hands behind okay. your back and let me handcuff you. Why is your original term? But there's no... Samantha was arrested and charged with DUI as well as public lewdness. It was a bizarre choice to release the man she was doing it with while at the same time arresting her for the crime and taking pictures of her with his phone. Samantha committed a crime, but there seems to be something shady up with this officer. Either way, if you thought this case was crazy, you're not ready for the next one. On February 25th, 2023, concerned staff at a bar in Ohio called the police about a possible drunk driver in the parking lot. When they arrived, they found this man asleep with his foot on the gas pedal. Take your foot off the gas. Why you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, all right? Luckily, the car was in park. If it wasn't, he likely would have torn off out of the parking lot and could have hurt a lot of people. Is that white Paul yours too? Yeah, no, that's my girlfriend's. Girlfriend's? She's, she's in there. I don't want to drive. I shouldn't drive. Why don't you think you should drive? I shouldn't have been wheel sir. Why, why don't you think Because I've had, been have drinks. Like, I, I, I was stupid. I'm sorry. Imagine that was bad. That was that was shouldn't have happened. But but if someone walked out and you hit him, man, you'd be going you're through right, a lot, you're right, lot you're, more dude, than you're what you're right. going through right now. You understand, you're sir? If you weren't in park, your car would have been going across the street into traffic. One hundred percent. You promise I'm not going to jail? I can't make that promise. If you could find a ride, you won't go I to jail. I get a ride. I promise. I please call my mom. Hold on one second, sir. In there, dude. I'm so sorry. At the very least, he seems to understand the gravity of the situation. He does, however, refuse field sobriety tests, which could lead to additional charges in the future. It's pretty clear he's inebriated. He should just do the tests so that things can be worked out smoothly. Well, here, I'll what the f are you doing? You need to calm down. No, you need to get the you're f you're in my car. On arrest. You want to be for what? On? Then talk. To so cut and record this right now. Okay. What the f for what? Hey, to cut and record this right now. I didn't literally nothing wrong. Well, no. Why the f What the f Why are you even searching my car? This is my car! You have zero reason to search it. Because your boyfriend was passed out in the car. For what? For what? He passed out. For what? He was in the driver's seat. For what? Drunk driving. Are you shitting me right now? No. He's in, he's in the cruiser. He had his foot on the gas, completely passed What are you, what are you talking about? Why are you in my f***ing car? Because he was in the car, he was operating the car, and he's now under arrest for How? How? Where's the f***ing, where's the security footage? Run it. Run the security footage. Even if there isn't security footage, the officer's body camera caught everything in pretty explicit detail. There's not really any denying that her boyfriend fell asleep at the wheel while intoxicated. In most cases, the police would not be able to search her car without a warrant. In this case, however, because the operator of the vehicle was impaired, the officers have probable cause to search the car for any illegal paraphernalia, despite the fact that he wasn't the owner. Are you f***ing shitting me right now? You searched my- that's my f***ing car! That's my car! You didn't have my f***ing permission! Are you want to take your marijuana? My so marijuana? Far? Yeah. Because there's, That's, there's you arrested him. Yeah, and there's marijuana in the car. That's my mother it car. Doesn't matter. There's marijuana in the car. So you want to arrest me for a hundred fifty dollar charge? Go ahead, slap me with the ticket because it's decriminalized in the state of Ohio. It's decriminalized in the state of Ohio. It is decriminalized in the state of Ohio. Is it yours or not? Is it is it yours or is it not? You want to sit here and interrogate me? Is it yours or is it not? Is it or is it? I'm asking you a question. Okay. Is it or is it not? Decriminalize and stay wild. That's my mother SUV. You don't have my permission to search any goddamn car. I don't need your permission. Go ahead. Search the car and no, you're, you're not going to search my mother you car. You need to raise your voice or you're going to be placed under arrest. For what? Because for what? You're impeding our That's my car. Right now. Your All investigation right? for what? That's my car. You do not okay. get a search warrant. That is Man, my car. That is my car. You do not have my permission. Okay. 
Go. I suggest to go with your friend. You do not have my permission to search my car anymore. We're going to search your car. You're, you're not going to search my car. This. You're going to be placed you're under not arrest. You're going to be placed under arrest. For what? Coffee. For what? Okay. For what? You do right not now, have my listen, car to search. That's my I car. I'm wrong with you, and I'm and I'm being caught with you too right now. You, you do, do not. This, for what? What are you going to arrest me for? What are you going to arrest me for? Obstructing official business. Okay? Obstructing official have legal business. To search the car for what? For the marijuana. Where? Show me that right now. Show me that. Show me the law. Pull it up on the web right now. Pull it up, and I'll be I'll be calm. Okay. I'll walk away. Officers are under no obligation to pull up the law for anybody who asks. It's up to the citizen to be educated in the law of the state and country that they live in. The officer's job is not to educate, it is to enforce. The marijuana is in the car. There's two bags of marijuana. For marijuana? marijuana? Yes. And because he was drinking and driving, the car is going to be towed. There's an open container. Okay? Where is the law that you have the right to search my car? I just prison? explained that to you. Okay, I just explained everything to you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. And if you're going to continue to be like this, you're going to be placed under arrest for, for obstructing. What? Okay? For obstructing. Well, I'm making my because belongings out of my goddamn car. You can do that once we're done. All right? Go ahead. All you right. can search all my shit. Okay. Pull it right If you continue out. to do this, you're going to be placed under arrest. And right. you're going to stop. So you I'm wanna, telling you right you now. I'm going to tell you right now. Calm and I, let us do our job, I'm being calm. That's fine. But if you're not. And I'm going to be sitting right the when you search my car because you're not placing okay. shit on my just, goddamn boyfriend. I'm gonna sit, I know. I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna sit right here. Just I'm gonna, sit, no, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch gonna you search right. my car. You're not gonna sit right here. Why don't I have the right to search my car? Why don't I have the right to watch you search my car? You do, but you, you can't can. just stand over there. Yeah, and I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna step back. And I'm gonna place that fing video. That's all I'm asking. Is that fine? Yeah, go back against the wall. Good. Whatever angle you're at, I'm walking behind you, and I'm gonna put. You're not walking. You're not walking behind me. I am walking. That, that's why I explain why you'd be placed under arrest for obstructing. I literally don't have none on me. I literally don't have none on me. It doesn't matter. Nothing, you're, for literally officer nothing safety, is on you're me. You're not walking behind. Nothing is on okay. me right now. I want to walk behind you because you're not gonna place shit on my yeah. goddamn boyfriend. He's a felon. Put your hands behind your back. For right? what? Obstruction of official business. Go ahead, because I have money, baby. We're going to okay. sue the state of Claremont but, County. But tonight, you won't be Stop. Kara was warned several times that if she didn't stop, she would be placed under arrest for obstruction of official business. The officers eventually decided that enough was enough. She seemed to have a belief that the officers were going to plant something to make her boyfriend look guilty. Unfortunately for her, he had already personally admitted to everything the officers told her. Record the angle of my vehicle no, because so you don't place drugs. Right now, okay? Because he's a felon, so you don't place drugs on him. Because that's how you must roll. Go ahead, though. Place me back in the cruiser, though. Right here. Get the stop. Get off right now. Oh, so I need five men. Everybody's close. Right here. Get the. I need one mother. Yeah. I'm one mother can arrest me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get the f off me. I got I got her. Go ahead. Right Get the f off me. You kick it? Oh, yep. did I? Oh, there, there you go. Go ahead. Right the oh, because we got a f him right there. She might have gotten away with light charges before she tried kicking the officer. They can now press charges for battery on a public servant which can have up to a five-year prison sentence. An officer located pill bottles and bags of marijuana while searching the vehicle. Kara was eventually charged with obstructing official business and disorderly conduct, as well as resisting arrest. She is currently awaiting trial. This just goes to show that when Karens get up to stuff, things can get pretty interesting. Thank you very much. We definitely appreciate it. Come on back, see more tomorrow as we march along here from day one. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.